Hello everybody, it's Several Level 4 for another episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Now why I'm in Castaway Cove? Well, because I decided that I'm horribly underleveled and I should probably train up some of my familiars. Also, I just want to point out that this episode and the next like five are going to be uh, post commentary. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, Wambat leveled up a bit. I traded Zabumafu for Honky as you can see because I think Swain would do a little better with Zabumafu than Esther would. Esther was kind of abusing it badly, and um, just everyone is, is uh, leveled up in general. Um, I also went around, I caught a few monsters off screen, just because, I mean, yeah, they were there, so uh, here they are. There's made a cute little montage for you guys. So, first off, we caught a barbarian, and uh, the choices are Barry, Baz, Baldrick and Barney. So I decided to go with Barney. Barney is our friend. Oh. <laughs> Next, we caught a Lagoon Naiad, or tamed, however you want to uh, say. The choice, uh, the name choices are Gemma, Gem Gem, <laughs> Gems, and Nine Eye. Uh, I decided to go with Gem with a J. After the 1980s cartoon Gem and the Holograms, or however it's called. Gem! Sorry. <laughs> Next, we caught a Sparky. <laughs> Sparky has his names are Shocker, Sparko, Sparkly, and Zappo. So I decided to go with Zappo. Uh, next we caught an airhead, whose names are Cloudy, Airy, Ariel, and Nimbus. I decided to go with Cloudy, I always named those guys Cloudy, after uh, Lightning Cloud 224. Uh, next, <laughs> Spirited Level Up, no, next we caught a Hooray! So we got Ray, Hip Hip, yeah, Hip Hip Hooray, Hugh, Hugh Ray, and Harry. <laughs> but I decided to go with Ray after my friend uh, Rayquaza Wee 93 and finally, we did a f we made a few uh, alchemy things. Um, made the breezy cloak here. Uh, I just wanted to show these because it's part of completion for trophies. So yeah, I made scale shield. You should be able to make most of these after doing all the different jobs. And we made a toughened armor, and I distributed it around the uh, around the party. And that's about it. Also, lots of levels. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So, now that we got everything, let's just kind of go around. Uh, just a, a word of warning, I guess. Uh, you, the the enemies that we have around here in, this, in the sea, and they're on like the Robinson Island and things like that, those enemies are okay to fight right now, but if you go to the Shipwreck Shore enemies, as you could, if you remember, they kicked our butt last time. Also, the water enemies that are by the Rolling Hills, like, sea area, you're really not supposed to be there yet, and... They're just gonna kill you really badly. Really, really badly. I died several times while I was trying to grind for levels. So yeah, you're really not supposed to be there yet. Also, just to show you, um, Haku's three levels for metamorphosing, so I'm gonna keep him going there, and no one else can really metamorphose at the moment, but um, Haku's almost there. It's almost there. But, uh, yeah, so we pretty much did everything that we could up until this point. Uh, did all the quests and stuff. If you can see on the, uh, island, by the way, there's, like, by the flower patch, there's, like, a little, uh, draw point. That's where you get the, uh, angulas that you can make, like, a breezy cloak and a couple other of the crafting items. It's kind of hard to find. I mean, you get two from a quest, but one from there. Um, so it's just something to take note because it is one of the more, I wouldn't say rarer items, it's just, um, less bountiful. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head over to Autumnia. Just, I really like Autumnia just because it's, uh, it's, it's one of the large areas. You're gonna be spending a lot of time there. It also has one of the, uh, enemies that I'm really looking forward to recruiting. And, uh, it's just lots of fun story and things, so I'm very much looking forward to finally getting here. It is gonna be great. What? Oh dear. It's a boat! There she blows! Autumnia! 
It won't be long till we meet the next great sage, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I fear not. Oh. Though you have come along. Right, they sent him out. <laughs> with extra power. Then. Show me your power. Who the hell is that? Well. It's the dark jinn himself. <laughs> didn't didn't we already see him back at the volcano? Could have sworn we already knew that it was him. But yes, it's boss time against Shadar. Shadar is about 2,000 health. Um, you don't have anything that he's... I think he's weak to light and resistant to dark. Uh, he's really strong. Like the nightmares, when you hit him, he gets uh, the dark limbs that come out. Also, as you can see, his attacks really hurt. Also, yeah, it leaves like a little fire on the ground, as you can see there. Um, he is going to use several of these attacks. Bleak Midwinter is the one that you really, really want to try to avoid, because that's the one that's gonna... You don't defend anyway, it's gonna do a lot of damage to you. But he also likes warping all over the place. And it kind of messes with... Messes with everything that you do. kind of mean but uh yeah let's send rosso out here because i'm stupid oh pass to me that's not gonna end well for you oh 71 i guess it's not bad but yeah um when i originally played the game i said to myself you're fighting what could be a final boss character I guess you should probably- I guess this is a fight that you're gonna lose against him, so I kind of got my butt handed to me, and then I got a game over, and I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. here goes nothing. Yeah, so, I mean, your main character- your main fighter- oh, that was close, I think, yeah. Your main fighter is definitely going to be Ponyo, even though everybody seems to be weak to all his attacks. But, um, <laughs> get behind him. Uh, but yeah, his his attacks, I think Felwind might be able to curse you at all. Ooh, <laughs> I got frozen. Um, and, okay, yeah, when you get him down to a certain amount of health... <laughs> so, this is the extent of your power. Shadar! I was beating she? you, sir. Where's Alicia? Alicia? Where's Rachel? Name Sorry. I have not heard in a long time. You may be fated to avert this world's doom. I hope so. First, That's like the most we've ever seen of his face. Save yourself. <laughs> That's deep. Shadar! I love his laugh. Yeah, seriously, we were winning. Come on. Oh! Maybe not. What the flipping heck is that big eye? It's looking this way. It is the eye of the storm. The eye of the storm? Summoned by sorcery. Curses we will not The puns! This must be Shadar's doing. The literal eye. I hope it doesn't look this. Oh. <laughs> Someone must have just said to himself, okay, well, Eye of the Storm, maybe that's a literal oh, thing, and just made it like that. I bet you were all dead. <laughs> oh! You know, when Oliver. you're in, when you're actually in the Motorville, way. like the cars oh, never actually sorry. hit you. I was somewhere else. <laughs> it's all right now. Huh? What's all right now? The big bad eye. It's gone now. The big bad eye. How do you eye? know? Of course, the eye of the storm. Oh. What am I doing here? <laughs> but Shadar, my friends. dead Oliver. That's what you're doing. They're all you're dead. There, Oliver. Huh? They're what in you heaven! This way, Except Oliver. for Swain. Let P show you the way. But hey, wait a second. Don't Hurry go into up, the light. <laughs> She's the angel of death. Spoiler alert. Oliver, 
Oliver! Mm. Ten more minutes, Mom. Oh, God. oh. Uh, Lizzie, you were my lobster. Oh. Esther. Esther? Oliver, thank goodness. Uh, everybody's here, but where's P? P? She's not here. Sinbad, are you wearing slippers? What's the all about? Oi, are you alive or what? Ah, you're back with us at last! Captain! <laughs> Looks like it'll take more than a gust of wind to keep you down. Anyway, another soppy stuff. Captain, is the ship in a fit state to sail? Sail? Bleh. Alas, she has not the storm to convert it into heavy toll of my beloved sea cow, even with all the hands on double ships of pale will take at least one week. What? But that's ages. Ah, we must be the unluckiest people alive. Yes. Bad luck, Oliver. Do not say such bad things. We are alive at all. It makes us luckier than anyone who faced the eye of the storm before. He's right. We were extremely lucky to survive. I bet it was because we had Oliver on our side. But if, if no one else survived, how did they know about the tales of the eye of the storm? If it's the cave of no return, then how g How's that go? Yeah, if it's the cave of no return, then how does anybody know it has the armor of invincibility? Where, where else would you hide the mystical armor of invincibility? Okay, Chuckles, next time I pick the adventures. Oh, wait! But I didn't do anything. Do you think it was P? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I couldn't beat Shadar. I couldn't save Alicia. You speak of things unknown to me, but it is not enough that you are alive and well. Is it? He's right, Oliver. Come on, cheer up. Uh, I'll try, thanks. Good. Now, Captain, what can we do to help? <laughs> I appreciate your fire, young lady, but you must leave the work to we men of the sea. Then it looks like we're on holiday. I suppose a few days of sunbathing wouldn't hurt. Yeah, like seriously, you're white as a sheet, sir. Typical. Typical men. Huh? Has anybody seen Mr. Trippy? Now that you mention it, no. You don't think it's been washed away, do you? Oh, no, look. Where are we, anyway? Wow, pout, 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 pout. Mr. Trippy, are you okay? Oh, that face, look at that. Whoa, 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 what's that? What do you mean? I'm fine, of course I am. Did you hit your head when we washed ashore or something? You're acting like a right weirdo. Ooh, what are you on a bit, man? Is it the most fixed? Tell me it's fixed. Come on, let's get off the smelly of the rock. It's nowhere near fixed, and you know it. Come on, we need to help ourselves keep ourselves occupied. Shall we have a look around the island? Uh, no, I mean, oh, why would you want to do that? But I get this deserted. I shouldn't wonder it. And, and dangerous too. Perilous, even. Let's just stay by here and enjoy the view, shall we? Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, nice. Um, ah, of course, friends, we will soon run short of provisions. Perhaps you should go in search of sustenance ourselves and our shipmates. Yeah, okay. Of course, Captain, it's the least we could do. Great, come on, everyone, let's go. Oh, God, Drippy's just like, No, man, wait, man, you can't, man, did you hear me? It's dangerous, you'll be eating a flippin' live. Look, Fairy, I'm not mad keen myself, but we don't have much choice. You have to grin and bear it, okay? Niggers! Aww. Wah, 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 wah. The swirling fire said the heart of the storm has unlocked a story in the wizard's companion. Well, how about that? You obtain an old tale of wonder, the boy who would be God. And the boy who is God. What? Oh, not me. Come on. Come on, Oliver, let's have a look around the island. So that was Shadar, huh? We couldn't beat him. Yeah, we saw Shadar the volcano, sir. That's... Beat him, we never stood a chance. We had to do damn sight better than that next time. In fact, we're going to go all out. Ooh, yes. All out. Yes, going all out is a good way to change your tactics when you spot an opportunity to get into trouble during or get into trouble during a fight. Press triangle to switch to all out attack or square to switch to all out defense. 
So yeah, so this is a really nice way to make battles go faster, especially when you're trying to grind or something. Like, seriously, like, if you're just getting annoyed by having to, like, constantly, like, tell your teammates to do things or not do things, especially when you're fighting bosses and the boss is about to use an attack and you can only defend with one of your characters, you could just, you're, you're, it would, it uh, essentially tells your AI to automatically switch to a character that can defend and then defend, or a character that is most optimized for attacking or whatever. If you don't want to use like strategy, but you can also use this as a strategy, if that makes any sense. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy using this a lot. To make things a little easier, maybe you uh, do know a thing or two after all. Ha ha ha. Oh, burn. Of course I do. The old man was pretty strict to- ah, oh, 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 let, 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 Let's go. I'm telling you, mother said it's a good idea. Aw, oh, poor Trippy. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this, or my name's Shirley. And it's not. But yes, now we get our first... <laughs> wishing Wambat. <laughs> Take a look. It's in a book with Wishing Wambat. So we have Wishing Wambat, Mokahawk, and Spike Tyke. So yeah, the Wishing Wambat's an upgrade to a Wambat. Has about 156 health. I think it's resistant to storm. Uh, Spike Tyke is res has about 175 health, resistant to storm, uh, weak to storm. I don't remember the Mohawk's health, and I think it's resistant to storm. But anyway, let's show you the all-out attack. So essentially, we have now we have at Zaboomfu, Go Go, and. Uh, and Ponyo, but uh, yeah, it just sends them to do regular attacks. Um, sometimes it does use like magic attacks, but it doesn't um, doesn't waste time, which is nice. But yeah, see, look how fast that was. Oh, hey, Swain leveled up, and we got an Ember Stone. Gunther leveled up as well, and now he can metamorphose finally. Okay. Oh yeah, so something to note, Ponyo is a favorite genus of Oliver, Gogo is a favorite genus of Esther, but Hurley is a, a Gunther is actually a favorite genus for Oliver, so Swain's starter actually doesn't isn't entirely compatible with him, which I just find strange. We uh, I don't really have anything that is com I mean, I guess uh Zabufu is, but we don't really have like uh don't start off with something that's compatible with him, which is weird, but um I have no idea what I'm doing here. And he's going to learn something at level 25. Which is uh, a little better than Slingstone. He's on the cover of the Rolling Stone. But uh, we're just going... Yeah, so this is... He would uh, metamorphose into a Burly Hurley. Let's see if I make the decision. Accuracy and evasion and magic attack are going to be awful still, but he doesn't really use them anyway. He's really more of an attacker. Stamina goes up, would go up as usual. But uh, we're not going to wait. We're just going to metamorphose him right now. Bum, bum. Not yet. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum, ba, 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 now he's a Burla Hurley. So now he can do another trick. All right. And let's see what else I do. Honestly, I don't remember what I do here. I'm gonna feed him because why not? I want to get him to try to get him to the the level, but uh, he likes chocolate. <laughs> he loves chocolate. But who doesn't love chocolate? Am I right? Am I right? Please tell me I'm right. Oh, for the love of God, please tell me I'm right. But yeah, now his familiar familiarity is up to two. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't really do much except for let you increase his things more. Haku, I think, also loves chocolate. But we don't have any, so I'm going to give him a wildflower sundae because that sounds delicious. Give him another one, because why not? He needs a little magic defense, and oh, that was adorable. And now Haku's magic defense increases, and etc., etc. Some some familiars actually do the familiarity thing. 
uh, to get more tricks. And uh, Wambat's actually doing really nice. I just kind of put him in my party, but his stats are actually kind of nice. The same thing with uh, Honky. He's actually growing quite well, which I'm impressed with. But uh, yeah, I, I think Honky's a better fit for Esther. And uh, he's a question mark type, which means that nobody is going to be uh, using him well. But I'm putting uh, Zaboomafu in front because right now Burly Hurley is going to be really weak and that's just a bad idea to have in general. Yeah, and if you look at the map, we're on the island of Tahiti. Uh, that's south of Autumnia and this is where we got shipwrecked. I don't know how we got here from being by Autumnia, but okay. Anyway, there is a secret chest, uh, a hidden chest right over here, as you can see that I just got. Yeah, there's a few hidden chests on the island, and also new enemies. This is a Sprog Cog and a Stabber. Sprog Cog is uh, very important because it's going to have um, a stealing item, which I actually get right here. It's actually a rare draw, a rare steal, which I'm very happy about, but the Sprocket is something you're going to be using for quite a few uh, uh, alchemic creations. So, that's uh, actually really nice that we got that. And I failed to steal anything as he was dying. <laughs> is that it? Is that it? Oh yeah, Stabber has about 170 health, weak to storm. Uh, Sprocock, I don't remember its health, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, Gunther just leveled up four times and is eh, not so great. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at what we can make with a... Can we make anything with a sprocket yet? No. There. Yeah, Watchmaker's Axe. And we need an Iron Axe, which I need to buy someone. Does somebody have that equipped? I think. Yeah. There we go. So let's take that off. And uh, I'm gonna make him something better, so we may as well. But yeah, the Watchmaker's Axe is much more powerful, but also it gets rid of uh, accuracy a bit more. That's just the uh, differences. Uh, the axes will all lower accuracy, hammers will not. But, uh, yeah. Alright, okay, and Haku leveled up, okay. He's nice level 16, and he learned Hot Huff. Gunther also reached level 6, so now, yeah, uh, Haku, I don't think, learns any more moves at this point. Uh, nope, so, you know what? <laughs> I don't know if I want to wait another two levels for him to get to his max, even though normally I would want to do that. It's just nothing, it's nothing to wait for anymore. Yeah, and, uh, he has Hot Huff too. See, Haku's not really much of a magic attacker, so I don't... I don't know, I don't really care about that in the first place, but anyway, let's see what, uh... He's a sun type, so let's... He turns from a draggle into a dragette. Not like a drag queen, though. Um, dragette learns crosswind at level 23, and that's it. Um, but yeah, if you look, the uh, movement speed and attack speed stay the same, but uh, stats don't really change that much. It's actually a nice base for him. Um... The, uh, it's actually not that bad. But, uh, yeah, so let's change him into a dragon. Bum, 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 Yeah, and now he's a dragon. Kind of looks nice. And he can learn, he can use one more move in battle, so may as well give him Hot Huff now. Because why not? And yeah, he also has already has recommended items and everything. No, oh, look at the burly hurley. But uh, Haku should get nice level ups as he goes along. There's a uh, draw point right over here with a whetstone. Whetstone is like a wet stone instead of like the actual whetstone with an H that is like used to cart sharpen axes. It's a pun. And there's also a hidden chest here with a sore tooth ring. Yeah, it's right at the base of this cliff with a draw point. Who can use it? You. Tech plus three, not too bad, but it's beast fangs, eh. 
You. They can use here. I don't know why I don't give it. Change to. Come on, give it to somebody, Dovey. He, he just goes all over the place. I look for someone who can actually use it well, but... Yeah, we're gonna give it to Wishing Wambat. William Wambat, excuse me. But, uh, yeah, if you go over here, just go behind the enemy. If And you go... Ow. Ooh. Okay, we can get ourselves a stabber. A stabber walkie. Pretty sure that's one of the names. Isn't that, isn't like Jabberwocky the first one or something? I don't know. But anyway, let's just beat the living daylights out of Spike over here. I don't think I've ever recruited two monsters in one fight before. But, um, I don't know. And Haku levels up. Wow, that's actually kind of nice for a uh, high tier monster. It's a lot of nice level ups. Uh, stats went up pretty nicely for three levels. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it was five levels for Burly Hurley with 14 attacks, so... And, okay, an average. <laughs> Demon's Fury. Okay, they believe that's a dark move. Four attack. It's, it's good, it's respectable. And, uh, let's see, so the names are Prodder, Poker, <laughs> Stabo, and Pointy. Yeah, I like Stabo, let's go with that. <laughs> Stabo from Stabo But yeah, so let's see Let's see what our uh, demons fury attack is Soporific bubbles that a single enemy to tree blade Yes, have put things to sleep. You're gonna need that devil's hell rings out cursing a single enemy Yeah, we're gonna go with dowsy drops for now, I guess Oh, yeah, and his uh, miracle move time flies everybody gets faster Time flies like a ban uh, like a, an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Yeah, and Spirited uses Black Hole, which is actually kind of nice. Primal Roar, we've seen. Volcano, I think we've seen. Whirlwind, why did I not give Hurly Hurly another move? Rosy Glow is all. It's kind of nice, but it's kind of... I don't know, I don't really need it. But, uh, yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode. Let's just head into the secret cave over here, which we're going to need later. Full of cute little... Blue crabs, they're adorable. Oh, and let's open this chest and get ourselves a fish burger. But anyway, this has been several so forth. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.